Hello, Amazon sellers. Jordan Malik, Ask Jordan Podcast, episode 115. Thank you so much for listening. Hope you're doing well. I'm recording this in early mid to mid June 2016. It's hot here in Las Vegas. Real quick before I continue with this episode, I want to tell you about my e guide, reselltoys.com. Reselltoys.com, I just updated it for 2016. These are toys that you can source locally, used and new toys that you can source locally. Some you can actually get on eBay to resell on Amazon for a profit. This is a guide that I redo every year. It's 110 toys, and I give you 12 ways to source them, and I give you a full description, profit proof, etc. Essentially, what's going on in this uh, this economy, and this is the way American economy has always been, is people buy toys, families buy toys, and they treat them as throwaways, meaning that they use them once or twice, stick them in a closet, then they hand them off to a thrift store or a donation center, or they do a garage sale or yard sale, or they put them on Craigslist or whatever. So it's all these toys that are out there that are worth you buying zero, one dollar, two dollars, five dollars, and reselling for you know ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty-five. Some of these toys that I've found go for hundred dollars and up. It is not a toy list. Some people misinterpreted this on their behalf and they think it's like this is a wholesale list of toys you can buy. No, you get a 10 or 20 or 30% profit margin doing that. This is a fully descriptive guide. It's 160 pages of toys that you can source locally that I have sourced locally and I've sourced on eBay to resell on Amazon for a really big profit. Check it out, reselltoys.com. The price of the guide is $67. It's over 160 pages. The price is going to go up to $77 really soon. So now is garage sale slash thrift store time, yard sale time, Craigslist time. Now is the time for you to be sourcing, finding these toys. And over 50 people have commented on this ebook on I Am Report Card, which is like a watchdog for internet marketers. And they've given a cumulative A minus rating. People that are using this book, they're using it. They're making big profits with it. Check it out. Resell Toys. Dot com. So episode 115, you're listening to 115, and I'm talking about discouraged sellers, trying to help discouraged sellers. Last episode 114, I talked about one of the selling professionals that I know because I got uh, eight of them to give me uh, some tips for my readers or any Amazon seller or eBay seller on tips on what to do because they're feeling discouraged. And I did that because there's a number of you that have come to me through email or whatever, I'm hearing kind of some rumblings that some sellers are getting discouraged because let's face it, it's not easy as it was a few years ago when it was slam dunk easy. Now you actually have to use a little bit of elbow grease to win. I don't care what type of product sourcing and product selling you do if you're sourcing used books or if you're sourcing a private label products, doesn't matter. The competition is up. People are getting discouraged. A lot of braggarts online on Facebook showing their, you know, half a million dollar uh, annual sales. People are looking at that saying, oh, my God, I'm doing something wrong. So every episode now from uh, 114, which is the last one to this one, to several others following this one, be focusing on somebody, another expert's tip and helping you get a, the right mindset to try to overcome that. And I know you can. I know you can overcome it. So Duncan McPherson is one of the experts I interviewed in the blog post is on my blog. Go to askjordan.net, go in the search field, and you can say where it says search the site and type in the word discouraged, and you'll see the results. The first article will be this blog post, or go to askjordan.net, just look at the show notes for episode 115, and you'll see the link to the actual blog post. I highly suggest you read it. Duncan McPherson is in Canada, and I asked for his advice. He's a, becoming a well-known FBA, Amazon FBA expert. He says pivot from what everyone else is doing meaning go in the opposite direction, and look for opportunities perhaps locally where you can find profitable inventory. And he's right because the sea of people that are going doing private label or wholesale, which which still works very well, but it can intimidate you. Many of you are too intimidated doing private label or wholesale, or many of you are facing increased competition if you do what's called online arbitrage, sourcing products from other online stores like Walmart. You're finding other people are doing the same thing and cutting down your prices, or maybe you're finding that in your local retail stores where you go sourcing that you're finding that people are doing the same thing. So he says, you know, perhaps locally where you can find profitable inventory. If you're just starting out and having limited funds to invest into inventory, get out there and start scanning for used books at local thrift stores. And Duncan is right because I did that when I first moved here to Las Vegas four or five months ago. Despite all the competition, I was still finding books, textbooks, certain cookbooks, travel books that I was paying 
50 cents a dollar, dollar fifty, two dollars, three dollars, three dollars that we're selling for 10, 12, 15, 30, 35, 40 dollars. It still can be done. I don't care how much competition is there. That idea of going out and, and scanning at thrift stores or garage sales or yard sales, Duncan says many people don't want to do this and they think it's below them or too much work. This is good for you because it eliminates competition. And he's absolutely right. I'm finding more and more an extremely, this is a, you know a fraction of sellers, not the majority, but a healthy fraction of sellers are doing this lean back at their chair and everything from the computer. The easier that is, it's very easy for you to lean back in your chair and use your computer to find and source products. The problem with that is that there's more people doing it because it's easier to do. When you're like me and you go out in the 105 degree heat in Las Vegas to local thrift stores or garage sales and start looking for books, not a lot of competition is going to be out there joining you because they're either too lazy or they're too busy watching lost episodes on TV or the Breaking Bad and Netflix reruns or whatever. So that's what Duncan means when he says pivot from what everyone else is doing and look for opportunities locally where you can find a profitable inventory. Another great tip from Duncan is buy when no one else is. And it's funny, I've said the same thing in this several episodes in the past and on my blog, buy when no one else is. And this, you got to think longer term. If you're in an urgent need to find products to resell, this may not help you. But what he's saying is, Some of my best deals, Duncan says, have come from local stores happy to almost give away their out-of-season inventory. Out-of-season inventory, meaning that, and that's the same thing I do. So, you know, you go into a store right after Christmas or right after Easter or right after Valentine's Day and, you know, offer to buy up larger quantities of Easter-themed or Christmas-themed or Valentine's Day-themed merchandise or Father's Day-themed merchandise or what have you, 90% off. They already might have it there in the store at 90% off, and you sock it away for next year. You maybe store it locally in your garage or what have you and save it for the next year. So buy when no one else, as Duncan McPherson is saying, and he's absolutely right because no other seller wants to wait a full year, okay, you know, or nine months. They don't want to wait nine months to to make their inventory sell. They'd rather, they, they're all focused on getting stuff that want that they think is going to sell, quote unquote, right away, and that's much more difficult to do. So I know these episodes are short. That's the whole goal to give you these little voices of inspiration or a voice of of encouragement when you're feeling down and your sales are down. And we will be back very soon with episode 116. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Hang in there. Good luck. Bye-bye.